Hi guys, it's Jen and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my long-awaited Ipsy bag video where I try out all of the products that Ipsy sent me this year. Well, not exactly all the products, but I combined all of the products they sent me and sent some of you to create one look. I have done this last year. The video will be linked up here for you, but please don't forget to watch this one first. And what I do is I gather them all here and then I pick and choose and put them on my face and create something. Um, and this is what I created. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to subscribe down there. Click that like button. Click the little bell too so you know whenever I post new videos. And let's get into the makeup on my face. So the first thing first, I'm going to use the MAC Prep and Prime. Um, this is the Radiant Yellow. And then I'm just going to dab it on my face. And then I'm going to blend it in. And don't mind my pimples. So now that's all on and I'm all super radiant now. I'm going to go ahead and jump into um, my eyeshadow and my brows so this can kind of dry on the skin. I'm going to be using this right here. I'm not going to butcher the name. And this is in the shade Espresso. Um, I don't really like this product. I do actually like the um, MAC Prep and Prime. Um, but this right here I don't really like. It is very hard and waxy but the other brow product that they sent me this year I disliked so much more than this. It had glitter in it. Um, gosh this is so hard. I think I might have rather used the glitter glitter brow products. Holy smack rolls. This is ripping my brow hairs out. So this is the highlighting brow pencil. This is in ivory lace. So basically it's just to highlight the areas around your brows and everything. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on because my brows around them are like super intense red. And then I'm just going to blend this out with my finger if I can. Just to kind of shape my brows. A little better. So I'm gonna go in with this primer right here by Smashbox um, and this is in the shade light so to kind of hide a lot of this discoloration on my eyes. This product right here I actually have used quite a few times and I actually really do like this product so definitely got some good use out of it this year. Um, I haven't really used it much on camera, just mainly off camera. So I'm going to go in with this shade um, from Luna by Luna and it's in the shade Jace. So I'm just going to take this on the MAC 217 brush and I'm going to just put this in my crease area and just blend this up and out. Like I'm just going to do a really simple look a really pretty peachy toned color. So last year my look was more dramatic but this year I think I'm just gonna go very very mellow. I'm going to take this shade right here by this brand and this is called Fancy. So I'm just gonna take this on my finger and just pop this right over top of this onto the lid. So I am going to go in with ColourPop Swerve and I'm just going to line the top part up here. Try not to ruin this. Next I'm going to go in with the Lancome liner. Um, I didn't get this in my bag. I actually got it off someone else that it came in their bag and they did not want to try it. So. I got to try it and I actually really like it. Also, I forgot to say about the um, eyeshadows. I actually like the color in Jace by Luna, uh, but the other one I don't really care for um, so much. I mean, it's really pretty. The only thing I have noticed is it does fade whenever I do wear that one. The 
other one. Um, this Lancome mascara, I really do enjoy. I wear it a lot. A lot, a lot. Like this, um, anytime I've traveled or went anywhere, I've wore this. So the next product I actually have is actually a sample from Sephora, but they sent out the Josie Marin um, foundation um, to a lot of people, and I really wanted to try that, but it didn't come in my shade. So I actually went to Sephora and got a sample. I've never used this before, so it's going to be kind of like a first impressions um, in this video. But they did send out this. Um, this is in the shade Supernatural, so I'm just hoping uh, that it matches me. And I do not know how much of this I need. It smells really good. So I'm going to just buff this in. And definitely did a good job over here on this side of my face. I can still see my redness underneath. So, I mean, it's doing a nice job. I don't feel like this um, is this full coverage. It may look like it on camera, but I can still see like my redness and everything underneath. And I don't think this color matches me <laughs> at all. So I think I'm looking a little extra, extra pale. So I'm going to go ahead and pop a little bit more in here for redness control, hopefully. Probably doesn't help that my eyeshadow is like super pink tinted. So the next thing I am going to use is the Pure Disappearing Ink 4-in-1 Concealer. This looks a lot darker. It's right here. It looks a lot darker than the foundation that I just used. And also on the back it says a sunburn alert. So you can get a sunburn with this product. I don't really know why you would um, make a product that could possibly burn people. Luckily I'm not going out in the sun today. So... Uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and try to put a little bit of this underneath my eyes. Holy mackerel. That's pretty good coverage. I just don't really like the fact that it could burn me. You know, give me a sunburn. Okay, I don't like this so much now. Like, I feel like it's actually breaking down the other foundation that I had underneath it. So the Josie Marin, I feel like it's kind of like breaking that down. So I'm going to try something else. I'm going to try this product right here. This was a concealer. It's a stick concealer. I actually um, like this product um, that I do not like. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I just put this on my nose a little bit blend out with my finger and try to cover this pimple this is a stick do a little better job back on my nose my nose like no matter what foundation always leaves it so the one actually on my forehead is pretty much gone I'm gonna try to fix this in this area here And cover my chin a bit more. So my foundation like on my face is actually dry just like kind of around the eye area. It's not and Ipsy did not send me a face powder or anything like that and I don't have any of the face powders that came um, in Ipsy this this year. Um, I do have the Bye Bye Pores pressed powder, but this is not a setting powder, so it doesn't actually set your makeup. It's like a finishing touch. So I'm going to try and let everything dry, and then we're going to just pop this all over if I feel like I need it. But I'm going to go in with the Bahama Mama bronzer, 
and I'm going to be using this brush right here and just to kind of give myself a little bit more life to my face since this is way too light. Since the bronzer is pretty much gone from this brush, I'm going to use the exact same brush. I'm going to go in with the Essence. Um, this is the Satin Touch Blush, and this is in Satin Love. So I'm going to go ahead and just dip into this. Holy mackerels. Um, tap that baby off. Just kind of go over my cheeks a little bit. And go back in. Tap off. And yeah, it'll just do a little so I'm gonna be using the highlighter in this bronzer duo right here um, and this just says bronze highlight it doesn't really say the name of the product so I guess it's just called bronze highlight by the same company that I used earlier for the eyeshadow um, this I um, highlighter came earlier this year and it's in the shade Calypso and the other brand that I used for my eyeshadow in Luna by Luna this one is really nice really great um, highlighter but it's gonna look a little more um, bold on my cheeks so I'm just gonna use this one because of that um, but I really do love the Luna by Luna it's actually like one of my favorite 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 um, highlighters that I've used in a long time so I'm gonna be taking this bare minerals brush and I'm going to be using this as the highlighter brush. Next I'm going to go in with the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores and I'm just going to use this same brush that I used for highlighter by Bare Minerals and I'm going to just kind of sweep it around my face. just to soften things up a little bit more. I'm gonna go in with the Lord & Berry Lip Liner in Nude. I'm just gonna line my lips with this. So then I'm going to go in with this ColourPop gloss in Ipsy VIP. It's a really pretty pinky toned gloss. The last product is the Too Faced Hangover RX 3-in-1 Replenishing Primer and Setting Spray. Um, so I've got this. I didn't get this in my bag, but I got it as a sample. Oh, it smells so good. My face is literally soaked. <laughs> Alright guys, so that is the end of the video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it and like the look that I created. It does take some time to try to get all of the products together and I try not to repeat myself um, where I try on the products a lot of times during my videos so I didn't want to do like the one step look like I normally would um, during my try ons with the eyeshadows and things like that. So I like to try to change it up during this video. So I tried this simple um, look. I hope you guys really did like it um, and don't forget to subscribe like this video and until next time bye guys